Hi, okay, it's Ready at JS here, and I'm gonna tell you how to install Ubuntu on a virtual machine. So, okay, so first you'll have to go into this website. Uh, I'll put the link below. Uh, just click download the 32 bit and the 64 bit. Also, I have it already here. And also, you would need to go to the Ubuntu website and download uh, the 32 bit. So, right here. So, I'll also put the link down below. So you click that and you go through the download. Okay, so once you have both of these, you run this setup. Yep. Yeah. So I already have it, but just just go through the setup, just click next for everything. Okay, so let's run the VMware. So I already have a I already have an Ubuntu which I was working on uh, earlier, so I'll create a new one. Okay, here we go. Create a new virtual machine. Click Installer Disk Image, Browse, and then go to your desktop, and then choose the ISO file that you downloaded from Ubuntu. And next. Okay, so here you can type in your name. Uh, uh, your username has to be all lowercase. You can put any password you want. Okay, so I don't want to confuse myself, so I'm going to call this uh, Ubuntu 12.10, and I'm going to save it on my D drive because I have no space. Actually, I should do it like this. D. There we go. Yep. Okay, so here's the size. Um, it depends what you're gonna do on Ubuntu. So I'm I'm gonna do 40 gigs. Actually, not 30. You can do. Th I'd say 20 is the recommended. So minimum 20. A uh, single file. So I I don't want to power it on after because I have some settings I need to set. Finish. Okay, so you have it right here. Okay, so let's see. Help. Go to Player Manage. Virtual machine settings. Okay, now your RAM. Okay, so I'd say put make your RAM. Okay, the max you should make your RAM is half of what your OS, your Windows Seven or X or whatever main operating system you have is at. So right now I have sixteen gigs. So I'll, I'll you can do eight gigs, but four gigs is more than enough. So I'll keep it at four gigs. You can even do two or less. Let's see, so four, what else? Uh, yeah, all this looks fine. Okay, options. Yep. There's this one setting that you need to So this, make sure this is off virtualize the Intel VT and, or AMD V. Make sure to check 3D graphics right here in the display option, accelerate 3D graphics. And then you can press OK. And now you can start it. Okay, so it'll go through the setup. It's going to go install Ubuntu. All right, so I'll cut the video here for now, and I'll come back right after the install screen. There's, you don't have to really, if there's anything, you just keep clicking next. All right, so you should now see two. Well, you should see one because you only created one under this name. So you click on, make sure it's selected. Click on player, manage virtual machine settings. Oh, virtual machine settings. Okay, for RAM, it depends on what you're going to be using it for. So recommended so one gig um, never go past half of what you physically have so right now I have 16 gigs so I should never go past eight because your 
original system might actually run out of memory. So 4 gigs is more than enough for me. Uh, okay, you'll also want to go to display. Make sure that 3D graphics, accelerate 3D graphics is checked. And that should be good. Okay, click on OK. Click on the green arrow and then it'll start installing Ubuntu. So you see the screen coming up. So the setup takes about, uh, I'd say, five minutes, depending on how good your computer is. It can t maybe take 30 minutes. Okay, so uh, you don't actually have to do anything through this installation. Um, you can just let it install Ubuntu automatically. Yep, so it's installing, creating files, copying them. Okay, so it seems like it's done, so it will restart and let's see what it's doing. Yep, so it's restarting Ubuntu, I think. That's a normal one. Normal. Okay, so yeah, so it's installing VMware tools, um, so just let it go by itself, you don't have to do anything. Okay, so it's finished. Okay, so just log in with your credentials that you did on the first page. It's locked in. And you have Ubuntu. Yep. So there you go. That's that's how you get Ubuntu on a virtual machine. Okay. So yep. So every all the functions are here. Internet. Sh you should have internet. Um, if you don't change the settings, it should be NAT. Keep the same settings. And yep. Okay. So this was Justin. Uh, see